Bill, o, Bill O'Reilly drunk dialed me. Really? Yeah, Bill O'Reilly did. And uh, let me see if I can find it. I got it right here. Uh, <laughs> uh, Timmy, the big O here. William and Ann Connor Mahoney, Fitzpatrick, Gilligan, Dolomite, Seamus O'Reilly. <laughs> That's my name. No spin there. Okay, sure. I'll admit it. I've had a few. And by a few, I mean I am not your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you know, when he gets uh, drunk, he just uh, gets... He's a different throw. bill. He's overly defensive. Yeah. He seems to throw around the, uh, the the slurs towards women a lot more freely when he's drunk. And uh, he's got a lot of anger. It comes out. It really, you really get to see it. Right? It, it comes out so bad, it's almost as if it's his regular TV show. It's, yeah. it's like it's like his regular TV show, except he's slurring. Yeah, That's it's how like bad his, it is. The it's, only difference. it's like his regular TV show, but he's not muddling facts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're right. He's just straight shooting it. Yeah. Oh, he, he called again. He called me a couple of times. Let's see what else he had to say. Hey, Timmy. <laughs> Timmy. Okay. No, listen to me. Listen. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I apologize for yelling at you, but you're way out of line, all right? Stossel and his mustache came on an old spin zone with some upsetting statisticals. He reminds me of my uncle, by the way. No, not because he's gay. He reminds me of my uncle because his mustache always tickles my... Well, where'd that come from? <laughs> <laughs> Bill, o, Bill O'Reilly's going through some stuff, I guess. Yes. Yeah, he's going through a painful divorce, is what <laughs> yeah. I yeah, yeah, yeah. His wife is sleeping with a cop now, mm-hmm. Nassau County yeah. cop, and that's got to hurt. It's got to mm-hmm. hurt. Um, he actually did call me. I co- wonder if he takes comfort in the knowledge that that cop is being paid by Jamie Dimon of Chase to uh, uh, be- oh. beat back uh, Occupy Wall Street protesters. And they're also, yes, and you know, Bill O'Reilly also made a big donation to the Nassau County cops, too. Yeah. So, yeah, it does. sometimes money doesn't work in your favor. He called me a third time. I'm drunk. What? Yeah, I'm not kidding. <laughs> door. Door. Door, 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 door. <laughs> Answer the phone, you arugula munching recovery hippie. <laughs> For the love of St. Patrick from Hill of Slain, County Meath, west of Donegal. <laughs> I know you're home. I can see you through your bathroom window. Don't let them take my stuff. <laughs> wow, he's worried about people taking his stuff. He really is worried about people taking his stuff. That's what it is. That's why they're against the Occupy Wall Streeters, right? Absolutely, they're afraid of them taking their stuff. Don't take my stuff. It's by all force. about selfish greed. Yeah, by force they're going to take the stuff. We've heard Bill's fears already. Knives in the streets, says Glenn Beck. They're going to slit your throat in the street and, with their knives, and, and they're coming and to they're kill you in the night. To kill you in the night. Because killing you in the day isn't enough. Glenn Beck, they got to kill you at night. Uh, just did anybody see um, the, the the Iraq War veteran, the six seven black guy who uh, uh, was wearing his jacket, his army jacket with the medals, and he was yelling at the police. And Wall Street, did anybody see that video? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was really nice. He was like, he was screaming at them at the top of their lungs, at the top of his lungs, and he was saying, "This isn't a war zone. What are you guys? Why do you have your helmets and your on your uh, your sticks? You don't need these. People aren't armed." He goes, "You think you're tough? You want to fight somebody? Go over to Iraq. You want to fight somebody? Mm-hmm. These are American citizens. I just spent 14 months in Iraq protecting them, and now I come home, and you guys are going to fight them? You're not going to fight them. There's not there's no honor in this." And then they, you just see them all slink away. Like, nobody's going to get in this guy. He's got his medals on his chest, wow. and he's screaming at them in their face. This isn't a war zone. To, These be, are- to be fair to the cops, he just released a bunch of exotic animals <laughs> <laughs> on the streets. So I think he went way over the top on that one. He did. He went a little over the top. Bill, Bill O'Reilly called me for a fourth what? time. What? You think I'm kidding? Jimmy. Here we go. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. <laughs> This f- thing sucks, <laughs> Timothy. Radical leftists want to burn everything down. That's the commonality here. They want forced redistribution distrib- re- of wealth. <laughs> How about some forced redistribution of soap first? <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> Got that one from P.J. O'Rourke. Ha. He's a genius. <laughs> He's a you want to look him up. I like his fresh perspective. These senior citizens, war vets, and teachers 
They're a bunch of dirty hippies and smooth-skinned yippies who refuse to bathe with me. <laughs> Women go on out. Bras, brawless, ergo, thusly, subsequently, <laughs> as per your request. And in conclusion, perhaps they should all be swabbed down with my loofah. <laughs> you got the last word, Jimmy. But first, and Pope. I had a dream my life would be so different from this hell I'm living. In Chuck Todd's beard and Stossel's mustache. You're in the zone, so please stop spinning. Seriously, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> ha! I'll do it live. <laughs> wow, he's going through some stuff. He really is. Yeah. He's having some. You know, when yeah, he's, he's tripping out. He's got a lot of problems on the inside. You lie, Sasol. You lie all the time. I've heard you on TV. I know. Yeah!